Welcome back guys, my name is Diego. Today we're going to talk about booleans and if statements. If you've never programmed before, this topic can be difficult to comprehend initially as there is a lot to learn. Feel free to pause and rewind the video whenever you need. Alright, let's get started. Booleans are a variable type found in almost every programming language. In GDScript, booleans can either hold the value true or false. Let's create a variable with the name result. We'll assign it the value of true. When we print it, we see that it outputs true. So, what are booleans good for? Booleans are commonly paired with if statements. An if statement is very simply a check to see whether some condition is true or not. And if it is, it will execute the next lines of code. This is the backbone of programming. We already know that our variable result is true, so let's make a real check. Let's compare our variables foo and bar. We can check whether or not they hold the same value as one another using two equals signs. The two equals signs means does this equal this? And if it does, do this. As you can see, nothing is printed out. Foo does not equal bar. We can also check the opposite using an exclamation mark and an equal sign. If foo does not equal bar, then print, this is true. Now, since our variables are numbers, there are a few more comparison operators we can use. We can use the greater than sign or the less than sign to check if a number is bigger or smaller. We can also add an equal sign to check if it's greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Foo is greater than bar, so we print. What if we want to check two conditions? We can either nest two if statements, like so, And since both these conditions come out to true, we print, this is true. Or we can also use the AND operator. The AND operator can be used either with two ampersands, which is common among many C-based programming languages. Or you can simply use the keyword AND. Here in this example, the if statement will only evaluate to true if both conditions are true. If foo is greater than bar and foo equals four. Similarly, we can also use the or operator. The or operator can be used with two vertical bars, which you can find by holding the shift key and pressing the key right under the backspace on your keyboard. You can also simply use the keyword OR. Here, the if statement will evaluate to true if either condition is met. As we can see, foo is not less than bar, so that will be false. But because we use the OR operator, the next condition will also be checked. Foo does equal four, so the entire if statement comes out to true. Sometimes, after we check a condition, if the condition fails, we want our code to do something else. That's where the else keyword comes in. If foo is less than bar, print this. Else, print this. We can chain multiple condition checks together with the elif keyword, which is short for else if. If foo is less than bar, print foo is less than bar. Else if foo equals bar, print foo is equal to bar. Else, print foo is greater than bar. Okay, let's pause there. That's a lot of information to take in. Hopefully you didn't get too lost along the way. By combining if statements and the various logical operators we've covered today, we can create some really powerful code. The best way to really learn these concepts is to experiment with them yourself. 
I've linked the official Godot documentation in the description. You can see what other keywords and operators there are there. All right, that's all I have for you today. If you find these videos helpful, remember to hit the like button. And as always, thanks for watching.